Going into VCT this year, we've already invested a lot in Valorant and in content. Going in with like a first roster announcement and then into this project, we really wanted to try and up the game again. We chose Twy in particular because we have been looking for a very epic and powerful feeling in terms of tracks. They really are masters at their craft, which is just in line with everything at Team Liquid. In my mind, they were a perfect match right away. The early conversations about music started with uh, Team Liquid having very specific ideas of how they wanted the music to sound. We had elements of rap, electronic music in there. It gives it a unique sound and vibe. I think it's very important to first establish a certain sound world and then go from there. It was kind of obvious that I wanted to work with Elena again. She was basically the one responsible for the actual very nice melody and words, I would say. Awesome, nice. Team Liquid really trusted in us in this process and really gave us all the creative freedom we wanted. I can kind of go with my gut feeling like, okay, this is cool, and if I think this is cool, they're gonna like it as well. We wanted to make sure that it felt anthemic. We wanted to feel epic, like you walk down onto the stage and you just feel powerful. My favorite part of the track is the pre-chorus, that, are you ready for the call? Absolutely love it. Edda's voice has this quality that immediately draws you into the song and the story. And even if you don't understand the lyrics, you still feel what the song is about. This is what I thought I could bring to the track because it's the whole ferociousness of the battle, like the real grit of it. He brings something completely different to the song. It tells the story of struggle, turmoil, but achievement and victory at the end. It was important that we made something that really could connect and resonate with anyone. Nice. This kind of music, like, it really enabled us to tell a really cool story. Three, two, one, action. When creating the concept for the music video, I was very inspired by this team talk that happened the night before the EMEA finals. A couple of recommendations for me tonight. Do some visualization. <coughs> Power visualization is, is crazy. Visualize yourself lifting the trophy, making the right plays, being a team, celebrating as a team. They better be afraid. Like, we get a third chance, and how sweet would it be? The only series that they lose all year is the grand finals against us. And that's what the mirror scenes represent, that journey of growth from Nats, first of all, just seeing himself in the mirror, him taking that journey deeper, really like looking inwards and being as honest with himself as he can be before they really came together as a team in the final scene. And you see that they now like see themselves as part of a team, they're one, I and mean, they believe in themselves that they can win. At first, when I heard about the music video and I was invited to work on it, well, I felt super honored to be part of another big project for Team Liquids. I never did 3D before on a music video, so I thought this would be a good chance to kind of show off a little bit. My favorite part was when he is just walking and then he kind of like looks up and sees these worlds and I took kind of like a reference from a, a video I did with my brother back in Christmas. My brother was like, no way, you took like this as a reference? It's also very special to see our products being used beyond the gameplay and also part of the production process, from the start of the creative process to post-production. After so many hours and so much work putting together and seeing the fans' reactions to it, like reading all the comments, especially the people from inside Team Liquid, it's like we keep motivating ourselves every time that someone does a project, we keep like, you know, internally just boosting the autoesteem of everyone. I think that's pretty cool. It seems like everyone liked the video too. Yeah.